Here at Clarison, we know that each company has their own set of internal processes and needs. That's why we provide you with a platform that is fully customizable to meet your exact requirements. Custom fields are just one type of these customizations and give you true flexibility in Clarison by allowing you to not only customize Clarison to your own unique business specs, but also to define any type of custom field that includes simple and even complex formulas. Custom fields even allow you to gather and process data from related objects, thereby enabling you to build appropriate connections between fields, KPIs, and more. Let's start by creating some custom fields that will allow you to rate projects based on a set of three scoring types, priority score, feasibility score, and strategic score, and then give an overall star rating to the project itself. This is an ideal scenario for users looking at a project portfolio and trying to determine which projects should receive priority. In this account, both the priority and feasibility score custom picklist fields have already been created and assigned values ranging from 1 to 5. These field values can be set by the appropriate user when scoring a project. Now, let's create the strategic score field. To create the field, click on Settings, Configure, and then select the Project option under Work Item. Now select New Custom Field and choose Picklist from the Field Type drop-down list. Now let's name this field Strategic Score and add a description and tooltip for My Users. The next step is to set the values for the Picklist drop-down list. You'll notice that you can add images to the Picklist values as well, allowing you to view either an icon, value, or both when the field is displayed across the system. Once you're done adding the relevant values, click Save. Next up, let's view the overall project rating field. This field has already been created and sums up the values from the priority, feasibility, and strategic score fields, and then gives the project an overall rating of low, medium, or high, which in this case is represented by a star rating of 1, 2, or 3 stars, respectively. This field is also a pick list, but unlike the scoring fields, this one is set to be based on a formula. The values of this field are 1, 2, and 3, and for each value, an icon has been uploaded to give a visual display of the star rating. The formula section is used to determine which value will be chosen, either 1, 2, or 3 stars, based on the values of the scoring fields. Now let's go into the Yearly Project Portfolio Rating view in the Projects module. You can see the individual ratings for each of the scoring fields, as well as the overall star rating making it easy to view and select which projects have the highest priorities. Now let's take a look at creating formulaic custom fields based on related data. These types of fields are called relation summary fields and allow you to get valuable data from your related objects. For example, you can create a custom field on risks, which will calculate the remaining cost of all active and draft tasks that are impacted by the risk. To create this custom field, select the Risk Entity from the Configure tab and create a new custom field. Let's select the Currency field type and set this field to be a formula based on a relation summary, which means that it will gather data from a risks-related data. Let's give this field the name Remaining Cost and specify that this field will only be visible for financial users. You can now set the formula. Again, in this case, you want to view the remaining cost of all open work items that are related to a given risk. So let's choose the Sum Summary type. As you can see, you can select a variety of summary types and even create a custom summary based on a formula. Next, select the Relation and Field to Summarize. In this case, let's select Work Items and then choose Budgeted Cost. You now have the ability to filter out related data. Because you only want to sum up the cost for active and draft work items, let's choose to filter out work items that are not in these states. Using the formula options, first choose the in function. Now select the variables tab and select the target object fields. In this case, the target object refers to the related work items, while the link object allows you to access any fields on the link between the risk and the work items. To filter out work items on a specific state, Select the field State and complete the formula to add the states Active and Draft. 
The in function is just one of many functions that help make formula building a breeze. Let's see this field in action. Access the risk module and select the risk financial view. And now let's add the new remaining cost field to the view. As you can see, you are now able to view the total remaining cost related to each one of your risks. A similar relation summary field that has already been created can be viewed in the tasks module, where the field open cases displays the total number of open cases that are related to each task. Adding a new case to this task increases the counter automatically. An additional configuration has been added to this organization that won't let you complete a task if it still has open cases. Once you try to complete a task, you can see that a validation rule pops up, letting you know that you are unable to do so until all related cases have been resolved or rejected. Custom fields truly allow you to configure Clarizen to suit your unique business needs. To learn more about Clarison, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our wiki help site. We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarison experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarison yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarison. See you back soon.